It's just me. Welcome to the Jeremy Show. I got a bunch of cereals here. Maybe I'll just eat them. You and me. It'll be like an ASMR experience. We got Captain Crunch. It's gonna be Captain Us by the end of this. He's back. He's back. Don't tell him what happened, all right? Yeah, Gator Tater. What have you done in here? Dude, the first whiff of it's a like... fresh bag <gasps> is pickle. Well, just smell You gotta have like... a pickle chip it before cereal? It smells like cereal. vinegar, dude. Yeah. What do you think pickles are? <laughs> They're really good if you like pickles. Ready, set, show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode. I'm Jeremy. That's Trevor. I hate pickles. Hey, remember back, way back when, if you're a super early fan of this, when this was called uh, the Morning Show Show? Remember that? Remember those kind times? Vaguely. I blacked it out. We wanted to do a lot of morning themed things, and one of the things we talked about was cereal. So we were like, what if we just ranked a bunch of cereal, like every cereal? We wanted to call it the Cereal Bowl. Get it? Like the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. but with cereal? Mm -hmm. Clever, clever here. This is how we're gonna rank each of these cereals. We have four different categories we're gonna be grading these cereals on. That's yes. taste, appearance, mouthfeel, that's crunch. The scrapeability goes yeah. into that. Cap'n Crunch, Is notorious for the mouth scrapes. Pretty bad. Juice. Now, it was a weird wording for what it does well, to the milk. Well, I was milk. like, what is this, taste and juice? Well, that's And then juice we got now. down to the milk, like, what does it do to the milk? And that's and we not called juice. It, we call it that's juice. What, what is that but cereal juice? We're both gonna give a rank of one through 10 for each of these categories. And then, actually, we're gonna add in, and I oh, do yeah? it very poorly, <laughs> we're gonna add in the wild card of just Alec. Alec. He's, he's filming right now behind the camera, but, from his vantage point, maybe he's got a loaded history, what? and he gets 20 points, because okay. we need to round it out to 100. That's an even you know? 100. And then we're gonna write it down here, and we're gonna send it over to this board, a la Top Gear. So let's start with one of the classics, and the reason that I brought this up today. 80 uh, for me. Honey Nut Cheerios. I mean, in terms of healthiness, Good for that their heart, you know what I mean? That's what they tell you anyway, I haven't taken a look at my own heart. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's almost a perfect cereal in my mind. Made with real honey. Did you know that? Appearance? Boy, a, appearance? Uh, uh, it's boring. Come on. It's it's not, that's it's a not boring the most cereal. exciting looking. Grandpa woke up and this is what he's scooping. Babies eat this with their fists. They what? like take it and they go like this. You know, that's how a baby eats their Cheerios. Mouthfeel? Mouthfeel is pretty good. Juice, yeah, let's, let's um. That's good. That is good juice. It picks up that honey kind of flavor. Yeah, I didn't and, realize. And, and look, it gets a little yellowish. Nice. Gotta aerate it like a fine yeah. one. Oh! It's really good, man. Sing to me. Okay, Alec, we need an Alec score. You get between a one and a 20. Okay, or a so zero if you're an animal. The B movie has taught me that honey is indentured servitude, so it's only gonna get a seven from me. Yikes! A seven out of 20 for oh. Alec is like, we should it's remove the honey, him. man. Well, you're canceled. Out of a possible score of a hundred, of a hundred, of fifty-four. What have we're, we done? We are hard. How did with we the do cereal? that? Yeah, but you know this what? This deserves to be up here. <laughs> and it well, felt... it's a good stick. All though. right. Well, you know that's a fifty-fifth. That's a middle of the road. That's uh, a middle of the road. You know, I mean, even be, if I gave that a so twenty, shy. it would have been like. <laughs> 60, well, right? here's the thing. It lost a lot of points. I mean, I was harsh on it in appearance and mouthfeel. Yeah. Here's the breakdown. Yeah. For those of you doing And I might regret that mouthfeel later. I really might. We got Fruit Loops, people. Look how pretty it is. See, this is where the appearance struggled last time. This is really gonna make something happen. Does Fruit Loops make juice? That's a real question I asked. So this was a big one for me as a kid. I was a Fruit Loops kid. Ow! That hits hard with the crunch. It's a bit sharp. The snack that bites back. Yeah. That ripped my mouth up. It's oh, not, there we go. It's not like actual fruit taste or anything. It's yeah, it's not. very sweet. It's not a fruit. It's a bit harsh. It's a sugar fruit. Mouthfeel, it hasn't gotten much better. Let's All right. get into that. That fruit juice? That fruit juice, yeah, that's, that's how they make it. What's up? It doesn't actually do much. If but... it doesn't juice, what do we do? Well, it gets a lower score. Alec, hit me with that toucan. Toucan's got a, a nice like life lesson in there, the follow your nose, which I live by every day. So I'm gonna give that a 13. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it, you know? This is how our system works, man. I don't question it. This is our calculator over here. As he puts it all together. Uh-oh. Every score we're giving this is based on our very scientific method and also Alec, and it's to determine the Ready, Set, Show's ranking. I was right, okay. All right, uh-oh, you are joking me. Let's see it on the board, where's it gonna go? 
It's a 54. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we're off Let's to see the, the score so that people can see what, yeah, there was our scoring. Where Cheerios fell behind, Fruit Loops succeeded. Yeah. And it, somehow balanced out the appearance. But it didn't actually appearance. beat Cheerios in flavor. I don't no. Know. This is really gonna get a bad mouth feel because it's following up on another bad mouth Captain feel. Captain Crunch is notorious for yeah. cutting up your mouth. Duck. Check this out. Oh, Whoops! <laughs> These? What just happened? That's some memories. And a little bit of blood in there, too. They are sharp little things. They abraze the roof of your you mouth. You know what? But taste is good. I hope you're playing along at home. And if you're not, I mean... You should. This thing fights you. One of them cereal. rolled under my tongue and just scraped up the side. It's like eating a little bowl of, like, shurikens. I'll tell you, this is... Bad, yeah, appearance-wise. That That is boring. I mean, it's it, the color is so universal and flat. I mean, so are Cheerios, but... Yeah, but like, the the O in the middle, you know, yeah. adds some depth, it some does. texture. It does. I'm also going harsh on it. The mouthfeel is, is unpleasant. I'm sorry. It's not great. It's unpleasant. The juice factor is not great. You well, know, it leaves a lot to be desired after the, after the Cheerios juice factor. Really? Yeah. I, you know what? I wasn't. It's not nearly as subtle as the uh, previous juice I wasn't we just as had. Impressed. Uh, Alec, you need a score. How's man. that captain treating you? Well, you see, we're missing here is its utility as a weapon. So <laughs> that's got to get. That's gonna get me at least the seventeen on. There. Whoa! Right? It's not just a cereal. If you make this also... equal fifty-four, we're gonna have a problem. It's got to be lower. Fifty. Okay. Right below. Good. Not even, too even with Alex seventeen. Wow, these and are the kind of curved, of so they're kind of mouthfeel. We we all knew what was coming. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna have a ten or a one uh, coming down the pipe anytime soon because I think you're right. We never know when something's gonna be worse. But if this could be a one, this probably should have been. This is Lucky Charms. The taste you can see. Is that this one? Nope. <laughs> Here's the problem, is that these are basically Cheerios, but somehow more bland. It's relying heavily on that marshmallow, I don't even know if it's real marshmallow, it's just marshmallow yeah. product. Appearance I mean, this is might, fun. This might feel harsh. But it's fact. It is quite fun, you know? I mean, look how fun. This one has three new unicorns in it. Okay, you had me at three new unicorns. Wow! <laughs> Mouthfeel? Now that, you know, that one is not bad. It's a little comfortable. Yeah, but I like how the, the, the marshmallows have like a pop to them. What's wrong? What's up? Comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable, it's comfortable in the cereal. mouth. <laughs> no, you're right. I would sit, if that cereal was a couch, I'd plop down. And how Oh, that, juice. We always forget. Alec. Alec. How's that Irishman treating you? Speaking of the Irishman, Lucky is really good at eluding the authorities. So for his abilities as an escape artist, he gets a 14. Wow, wow, Lucky. Good job, man. Getting away from those. He is All a right. rogue. Whoa. Uh, check it out! Whoa, Lucky 56. Charms taking the lead, though! Well done! What a tight window we and have. And you know what it was? It's the mouthfeel and the appearance helped that one a yep. lot. Yep. Nutrition doesn't play at all into our rankings. No, it doesn't. Because they're all fortified anyway. Let's go with Reese's real. Puffs. Reese's I Puffs, Reese's Puffs. I love Reese's Puffs. This one, I feel like, has the opportunity to sing through a couple different categories. Yeah. The appearance is a bit bland, you know, just like two shades of brown. Yeah, it's the peanut butter balls and the chocolate balls. Right, right. And I'm just saying, it's not nearly as exciting as the colorful Fruit Loops or uh, the Lucky Charms. It's definitely unique. It's unique, but I don't know how good it is actually. Now, I, even though I used to eat this all the time. Okay, mouthfeel. Mouth feel. That okay. So mouthfeel, I'm going with that. It absorbs in the outer layer quite quickly, a little softness, but it maintains a crunch all the way through without scraping you up. Oh, oh and this juice. is the selling point, if I recall. Peanut butter milk is on the horizon. I detect goodness. That almost tastes just like the cereal, but in milk form. And mm -hmm. what is that but a proper juicing? Alec? It's not the candy, so it gets a 10. Simple enough. He I really like it. sounded angry and then didn't give it that bad of a score. Yeah. All right. It's not the candy. You know it's what? It's not his Ten. fault, really. Yeah. To be fair, I think most of his points have been failing grades. <laughs> If you really want to get to, honestly, they're all failing. We're, <laughs> if, we're if beyond. You look at them on our scale. <laughs> we're beyond questioning Alec. He says his answer, and then that is decree. You know, that is law now. Let's see it. It's going to the top. 62 Varese's <sighs> buffs. It was all around pretty good. They knew how to spread their attributes, you know? That's like, what they it, did. This is what happens when you go into like an RPG or something. You really don't want to just spread them out. You don't want to be a, I'm all charisma, I'm all strength. This is a, a multi-strength right. character. Now here's the thing with Fruity Pebbles. 
It's a thick cereal. It is, and the, and the problem is it, it looks nice and colorful, but I'm gonna have to give points away for the fact that it looks like someone just crumbed up my Fruit Loops. That is a pungent taste. It is strong. Whoa, that is fruity. But I don't know if I like that flavor. I don't know, I don't know if I could either. finish a full bowl of that. We come back for the uh, the mouthfeel here because it's been a Appearance couple is fun. seconds. Appearance is fun. It's hard to be worse than than that. Than, on the, than the crunch. It's got a nice pop, a little crunch, you know, but it's like they're no, so and, flat. And it's already started mushing. Yeah. Oh man, and that pungent fruitiness, it goes into the milk. And I'll be honest, I kind of like the flavor more in the milk than I did in the in actual cereal. In I, the milk. I will. I will actually change. Because I, I think, yet. okay, Alec, yet. Fruity Pebbles. Fred Flintstone is a big fan of very large barbecue, and so am I, so he gets 18. Dang! That's, that's gonna send them right, <laughs> I think, into a... We'll see what happens. It's scientific, people! Here we go! Somehow, <laughs> I would have put that not great. Yeah, look how bad the scores are. So you can see where the points came from. <laughs> this is what happens when you run a pure roll. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's the taste that you can eat. Close. Do they still sell Cookie Crisp? They uh, do not make cookies. I don't think they do anymore. They do? Yeah, they brought it back. <gasps> they, oh, they brought it back. I thought they got rid, yeah, they got rid of it because they're like, no, these are legitimately just baby cookies. Yeah. See, here's the thing with Apple Dude, Jacks. Look at the, that and, is the taste you can and see. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Taste you can see. Yeah, the milk is getting speckled with sugar and cinnamon in a way that's very pleasing. Oh! I was mm. sleeping on this. Yes, this tastes just like raisin toast, cinnamon raisin swirl bread. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good stuff. This is, oh, oh, oh! Okay, here's where this one succeeds in appearance over Captain Crunch because they're quite similar. Those little speckles but and those flavor swirls. Yeah. Oh, mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. Listen, this is a level above. And that is just cinnamon just milk. Just diving right in there. That's cinnamon milk, dude. Alec, hit me with that toast. Okay, since Cinnamon Toast Crunch took into consideration like colorblind people who can't see the multitude of colors in other cereals, but they can see the flavor in this one. That gets a 19. Because it's shades of the same color. A 19! Yeah. No need to wait for it, just hit it up there. Right up top with the 71. Do there. Uh, great taste, you know, I could see it. So I experienced that taste with two senses, which, yep. I mean, obviously we're gonna go up there. Uh, Mouthfeel, it's got a good bite to it, got a good crunch. Nothing remarkable. It had a good juice, okay? Cinnamon juice. It man. was the same flavor, just more subtle. Cinnamon milk is weird. Actually, what is that called? Cinnamon milk? Cinnamon milk. Like horchata? Yeah, it's horchata. like horchata. You're right. No wonder we like that. It's a thing. That is our current standings right there. If you have specific cereals that you uh, have in mind, I know we mentioned a couple here, but are there any strange cereals that might be easier to uh, come across? You know, like there's always like uh, Count Chocula and the Halloween themed ones, but are there yeah. any like strange or unique cereals that we should start throwing into the mix? I'm really depressed that che Honey Nut Cheerios is right here. Yeah, I know. Uh, I. I it's good cereal, man. B movie heard it, I think. Yeah, <laughs> B movie taught us that it uh, is B labor, and uh, I mean, really, that's about what tanked the score. What do you give it a four? <laughs> that's what tanked the score. Give it a four, I think. Give it a seven. Yeah, it could have been in the sixties at least. Man, who knows well, what could have been? What could have been? Well, people? thanks Seinfeld. Yeah, for another terrible cereal. This just in: hell is real, and there's a podcast about it. Hail Clayton! So thank you for Good Morning From Hell, an audio-only podcast from our friends at Rooster Teeth. He threw some hell money at us and said, hey, it's, it's improv, it's comedy. They've had the Beatles on, they've had Gug. Uh, it, that's Captain Doug Gug Chaos. But you can check out Good Morning From Hell, their new podcast, Clayton, Chris Maris. That's anywhere that you listen to audio podcasts. It's available there for you to go Link enjoy with your ear holes. Yeah, put it in the brain. And remember, Always respect Captain Doug Gug Chaos. Do you know how um, no. Lucky Charms were invented? There was a guy who used to take his cereal in the morning, like alphabets or whatever it was, right? Yeah. And he would put circus peanuts in there, the mm. candy. And then therefore he was like, this is a good thing. And it caught on and it became Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs>